Hey everybody, got another uh, Transformers video this time. Looking at the Hasbro um, Toy Shop Special Edition Deluxe Classic Strag Strip. I think I got all the names in there. Well, I guess Universe 2.0 would be included too. Uh, as you can see, it is a repaint of the classic Mirage mold um, this is the only version of the mold that I have although I am looking for an electro disruptor Liger from Millions Publishing and if I get that beautiful piece of chrome and translucent plastic you can bet your ass you'll see it But nice I guess that would be a Tampo Decepticon logo there. Doesn't look like paint. Overall, nicely detailed car. Uh, red canopy or windscreen. Nice little details on it. Um, the rear spoiler wing, whatever you want to call it, is adjustable mainly because that's his feet I think that's about the way that it should sit but it does not roll all that well it has a tendency of just coming loose right here and dragging like that but for the transformation pop off the uh, front spoiler. Go ahead and separate the rear spoiler. Just get that out of the way. Pop up the uh, air induction piece there. And you can see right here that's his arms and you do have to unclip them from uh, this piece right here. See there's little tabs on them. Tiny, tiny. Go ahead and get the arms unfolded. The uh, legs just unfold like that. And they are uh, pretty loose at this pin joint here. So uh, I might have to, uh, well, yeah, and probably take off this piece here and be able to pop that pin and tighten it. Right, back to it. Straighten out his uh, feet. And it's a he, it's not a she, despite what BotCon people say. He's a drag strip, not a drag queen. Pop this piece down. Swivel it on this hinge, then bring this piece down, rotate the waist, and this will all come back together pretty nice. There's the head. Flip them out hands. <laughs> I swore. Alright, finally, hands. And just straighten everything back out. Ooh, that's crooked. There we go. Alright. And this is a uh, very nice robot mode. I, I like it. It's sleek and uh, it's got a good bit of height on him. Nice and lanky. He has to do the traditional crotch thrust. Head is just Mirage's head. Different paint job. But uh... It, it works really well as a head for drag strip. 
I do have to say that. For articulation, waist joint head is on a swivel at the base and then a ball joint. You can see light pipe dies painted. Got a uh, hinge at the shoulder here, although that is for transformation. Ball jointed shoulder, double hinged elbow system for transformation but still usable. Um, it's noting, worth noting that this side is a little wonky. It, the arm never quite gets straight. It looks like uh, this joint here is put together improperly. His uh, little pelvic flaps here will raise up. Ball jointed hip. And single jointed knee, 9 degrees of movement. And exhaust knees. And you can also use this joint for double jointed I guess and the toes feet whatever you want to call them are on a ball joint and swivel pretty good sized heel spurs so he has no trouble standing now, he does have his crossbow weapon which was the spoiler of the car just pegs right in and there you go he's a really good looking uh, figure I uh, I never really worried about getting it until I ended up buying the fans project shadow commander which I've seen people use as a stand-in for a classics motor master and uh, that was pretty awesome then I got the Genta Wild Rider, so I had to get drag strip. But he's uh, not very hard to find. You can get him off of eBay pretty cheap. Um, I think a few sites still have him in stock. Like, uh, if I remember right, BBTS has him. Or maybe it was Robot Kingdom. But I, I definitely say that this guy's worth picking up. If, uh,. You missed out on Mirage, or Crasher, or Electro Liger, or Henke Liger. Yeah, this is a good version of the mold, too. But, hope you enjoyed it. Everybody, uh, you know, hope you all are having a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.